Hello everyone, my name is uh, Next Door Gamer, and welcome back to some more Long Live the Queen. Now, last episode I had a lot of fun with this game. It was, it's really, actually really good. I was not expecting to like it as much. I thought it was going to be, a, a, I mean, I didn't think it could be bad, but I didn't think I would like it as much, and it, there would be like, as many like, decisions. And the game looks more complicated than it actually is. So, I'm actually looking forward to see what, what else the game has to offer. So, thank you guys for watching episode 1. If you haven't, feel free to watch that before you watch this, because you might be a little confused on what's going on. So, feel free to do that. If I remember, I will leave a link to the first episode. Don't bet on it, though. So, I'm all ready. I have a glass of water. I learned my lesson last episode. Got really thirsty. This game's really text-based, so we should be good to go, though. Load game. There we go. The game will now attempt to save. No. Okay. My skills. What should I work on now? So I was thinking last night when I went to bed. I probably just pissed off someone. You know, because I just sort of. Like we sent an army to go kill someone. So. We won that war, we lost a lot of people, so whoever we just defeated is probably really fucking pissed off at us right now. So, we might get an attempt on our life. So I need to try to think of ways to prevent that. And it might also spring a war. So I need to think of that too. I'm not sure how this game works with that. So I'm going into this blind. So I should probably work on things that will avoid, that will allow me to avoid getting, like, fucking killed. I don't want to die. I like to live. So, let's see what we got. Conversation probably wouldn't be the best for now. I mean, I, I should probably improve it here and there. But for now, we'll leave that. We'll, we'll leave it be. Um, basically, all the social stuff is probably not worth it. But physical is probably worth it. So maybe improve running a little bit. Improve running, and if, if someone tries to poison us, or poison someone that we know, maybe I should work on poison. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot we can work on. Oh, I mean, like, that's what I love with this game. There's so much I can do. So, yeah, let's go with agility. No, what was it? Athletics? Yeah. Running? Just in case we have to flee from someone trying to cut our heads off. Now I can either go with... In... Intrigue? Man, I, I cannot read that right now. Integer. Inter, integer. Do, I cannot say that. The thing is, I can go with poison, so a... Like we had that experience last time where my cousin got poisoned by a milk snake. So if someone attempts to poison us again, having having knowledge on poison might actually be worth having. Yeah, so let's do poison and running. You have to walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day. Certain poisons will counteract each other, such that either on its own will kill the victim, but carefully apply a matching amount of the other will cure. Okay. There are reports that a key thong has been sighted leaving the old forest. What's a key what's a, a key thong? I mean I know what a thong is, but a key thong. Hmm. Sounds sexy. What's a key thong? Yeah, I'm really fucking curious on that myself. A beast. With the body of an enormous golden cat. A body of an enormous golden cat. A sharp beak and spikes on its back. Ooh. Eek Several disappearances in Southern Calaris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send hunters? 
The traditional policy on stray bees is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such creatures. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So, we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Oh my god, dude, really? Why don't you even bring this to my attention? Hmm. That's Also, there's a letter for you. Okay. Dollar is the Duke. Hello, it's the Duke of Sunna. We'll be arriving next week for an official visit. Okay, so the Duke of Sunna. What the hell's that? Uh, you know, what? you know, we had, a, you know, we had some bad times. Let's just let's go for a nice dance. As the princess, the future queen, you are the belle of the ball. You guys will dance. Okay. So we have some sort of like duchess coming. So we should probably prepare for that. Uh. Hmm. But I'm trying to think of what I should do. I should probably get to know other people. So foreign affairs, I guess. Foreign affairs and foreign in intelligence. What the nobles and other citizens are up to? Yeah, that sounds right. And let's go for foreign intelligence as well. We should know like what's going on in like other countries. The Duke of Marie has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursel to know and avail. The Duchess's brother is opposed, as he will inherit if she dies childless. Excuse me. Your agent suspects. Oh, well, sorry. Again. Your agent suspects the Duchess of Ursel is actually more interested in the Duchess of Pelis. Neither has ever been linked to a man. Oh, okay. Countess Leek of this married to the old Duke of Sadbury. Who was more than twice her age? Then divorced him as soon as she born him an heir in order to marry another. It was considered shockingly rude by the general nobility. The old duke apparently had no objections. Huh. That is really fucking weird. Why would someone bear someone's child and then divorce them immediately afterwards? That is really weird. It is a little rude. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The skills in a favor are now above 50. You may now increase the skill until your other... Into oh, okay. So I cannot go any further until my other skills are high. Okay. Okay. Born intelligent. The domain of Sajia across the sea of the west has been steadily increasing in size. And now controls a wide range of coastlines, as well as most of the navigable rivers. Number 30, the po political disturbance, disruption in Pombula in recent years has caused a disrupt dis disruption in their chocolate production, which is to the benefit of Nova. Huh. Okay. So now we're gonna get a visit. Duke of Senda. Ah, your highness. What a pleasure it is to meet you. In person at last. Your description is Oh, your sorry. Your description did not justice. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted my humble offer. 
a jewel for a jewel. But you are the more precious. I hope that this is only the beginning of a mutual, beneficial relationship, if you know what I mean. Wink. A union between us that brings stability to both our people. He really does want to marry me? Huh. Wow, we got an offer to marry him. I don't know who, who the fuck this guy is. I mean, he's smooth talking. I say that much, but I don't know what he has to offer. And Should I accept it? Wow. I, I've only been, like, clean for, like, I don't know, a month and a half? I'm already getting proposed a marriage. Hmm. Right, let's think about this for a second. If we accept this offer, we get. We're also able to take. You know, we have connection to his land and also his army. You know, if we decline his offer, we could piss him off and he could come back at us later. He seems like a good person up front, but if he's not, we could be in trouble. I wish I could just hold off and talk with the guy before we marry him. Basically, it's like walking out to a strange, sending a stranger, like, I don't know, a necklace or a bouquet of flowers or something like that, you know, anomalously, and then going to their house like a month and a half later after getting to marry you, saying, like, hey, you're, I gave you the flowers before. Um. Ah, oh God, I don't know what to do. Hmm. I gotta think of what she would do. So if I was her, you know, boom, you're asked out, you know, marry, you know. Wow, this is actually really hard. But if I make the wrong decision, bad stuff can happen. So. Getting access to all of his, like, stuff would be pretty uh, beneficial. So I'm gonna accept. I would be honored. Odie, oh, the great. Are you not aware that my daughter has only fourteen? Has only fourteen summers. It's my decision. A bethro only. Of course, there is no need to hurry. You have your coronation to plan out for, after all. If I might be of service in any way, please send for me. I will be happy to offer my protection or advice. No, no, no. I think we made the right decision. I think he might be a pretty good asset to us. Hmm. We should probably speak with our father and see what he has to say about all this. Dad, I'm really happy the mom. She was a woman. A magic user. It was meant to be in reverse. To the Fender domain, but she insisted on dot 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 dot. You don't need to hear that. She used magic to drain her strength. She thought it was hunger, and it wasn't. Eventually, her heart just stuck, 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 stuck. That's why I don't want you involved. With that. Okay. So, it's magically one of those things in the game that has consequences, so when you cast, if I shoot a fucking fireball in my hand, it drains off, like, I don't know, a day of my life. <laughs> or, it shaves off, like, five minutes of my life or something like that. Like, that's pretty scary. But is that actually true? That's the question we have to think about. Okay, so we have some backup from that one guy. So, yeah, they were getting married and, and all that. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, we should probably learn history, but, but that's not doable for us at the moment. Uh, let's think. Maybe we'll practice more athletics? Animals? Oh man, like there's so much we can, we can learn. Like I want to learn some account that you know mathematical stuff, but 
No, we should probably work with, like, Charter Station, like, public stuff. I think. Yeah, we'll do... Conversation... Yeah, we will do conversation stuff. Conversation, we'll go with... Port Manor, you know, we don't want... We don't want to look like a fool and flattery. We don't want... We don't want to look dumb in front of people. A person of the highest rank... For the main, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission. And no one must ever turn their back on you. They do, you are entitled to recognize the insult. You learn that it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. You are requested to stand in judgment. Roy has been convicted of attempting of attempted murder and request the mercy of the crown. Okay. Let's get a little drink going here. Your Highness, this sl slaughter dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her roof. My sister? Coruscant, the Duchess of Mead. Oh, the Duchess of, of Drink. I'm, I'm already liking her. Is she alright? She is unharmed. We caught the culprit. Cul culprit? Cul culprit? Man, I, can, I know what the word is, but mind not let me say it. In the, in the kitchen, before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's justice, it is. Them d devils killed me brother, and broke me man's heart. Lied to her, they did. When she went to see why he knocked on her back, she said, said he'd gone for a soldier. But he... Never would. You weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's just justice. You see, she completely unre unrepentant. Unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. Hmm. This might have something to do with the last group of me. He wasn't involved in all sorts of scandals. Mm. Let's get a little more information about Guan. Do you know if she has any justification for her action? Did the old dude kill your brother? Are you accusing my family? I'm asking what happened. The honor of our line is far deeper than that of a wet bottom child who sits in, who sits the throne. What? Without warning, the Earl draws no well, draws a dagger at and slices the convict's throat. Oh! No one harms my family. No one. He throws the blessed thing dagger through the floor and walks away. Oh my God! Why didn't we have someone fucking arrest the- He just fucking murdered someone right in front of us. Oh my god. Jeez, we just watched a fucking murder. Oh my. I need a fucking drink after that. Jeez. Did that just fucking happen? I just wanted to get some answers. We need to really, like, improve our court shit. Let's go attend some court. Sitting in the car such is not fun, but losing your father. Oh, I'm fucking pissed. Why am I so. Oh, I'm so fucking angry. We gotta, like, cheer up a little bit. We need to, like. Yeah, we just need to work on, like, conversation stuff. We need to get really good at, like, court. So when it comes to this stuff, we can put people to justice well. 
And we also pissed off that guy, so we probably want to, like, practice some, like, strategies, too. So let's go with classes, do some public speaking, and we'll go with military and logistics. I'm fucking pissed. You take deep breaths and, mo and practice speaking loudly and clearly, projecting your voice at every corner of the room. You learn about the types and amount of food required for the army on March. Okay. As you're walking one day in the garden, you hear a strange sound. You look up and see a, an owl flying overhead. Sing on the dry leaf, flutters in its tongue. That's right, I thought owls were nocturnal. Guess I was wrong. When you're going to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes crowdfunding for a project. Thank you for seeing me. Your Royal Highness, I, dot, 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 I come to see you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease could be brought to treatment. We should actually do that. It's not a good idea. Putting all this shit together, wouldn't that make them die even faster? We are not interested. Oh my god, what? We need to really start, like, improving some of this. Like, what were we asked about? Like, business or something? Jeez! That, that's all with this duchess. All I said is I couldn't have the crystal until I'm queen. So we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait. This would, this world is full of dangers. And you will need the powers of the Lumen to fight them. You can't begin trading until you have bound with the crystal. Well, I'm not... What else am I supposed to do? What do you about it? The crystal is probably had under guard in, in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. Well, is magic really important? Like, apparently magic killed my mother. Do I really want to take that chance? Like, I don't want to piss off my father. And, yeah, let's... I'll wait till I'm older. Yeah, I trust my father, and he says I shouldn't do this. He is trying to protect you. So am I. Hmm. I'm so fucking pissed. Hmm. Yeah, economics, trade. We should like just study in that for a moment. Just um accounting and trade. You brush up on basic mathematics with the help of a of a cues. Well, sorry. You learn that even the smallest of village has a central market where locals can trade what they have grown or made with others that, who have different skills. Okay. Remember that the festival of, a, of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for, for this covenant, followed by a grand gala of the nobility. As queen, you would be expected to lead the positions and take part in the ceremony. Planting. Possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, Nestor? Outside the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think of how. Think of it now, decide later. There, there's a letter for you as well. It's from Bronny. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of me. She complained that her mother would still won't let her come home for the holiday. Apparently, her uncle Kiran is absolutely furious about that woman's trial. 
She was bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have anything to, to suggest her. Hmm. Okay, we're pretty, like, pissed off, aren't we? Yeah, let's, like... Uh... Don't we want to get depressed? Uh, let's go to the dungeon, I guess. Since you're going down here, you sneak a peek at the dungeon. Okay. We're still fucking pissed, but we're a little less pissed now, I guess. Yeah, possibly. Hmm. So we're gonna have to make a speech. So we should probably work on that. We should probably go with public speaking. And it's also gonna be dangerous. Hmm. So we'll go with reflexes in case someone tries to like just all assault us. Conversation, public speaking. And agility reflexes. You memorize lists of signs, then recite them for your teacher and any cast of staff she can round up to serve as an audience. Crashes worth a jump rope to increase the speed of your foot. Today is receiving and plenty of the festival of the day. We will be leading the parade. If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. People will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. <sighs> you know what? I, I, I need to gain the trust of the people. So staying inside and hiding is not good. I will parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the, be the best Parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through town with an audience. You would not be a, a, it would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword. But you walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. The end of the route you help the priestess turn over the earth for a new tree to be planted. After the blessing, our blessings are read. You hold up your hand and call for silence, like you, so you can speak. Fortunately, all the words that you have planned go out of your head when your face in the moment. What? I, my public speaking's at max. You manage a few polite sayings about the meaning of the holidays and thank everyone for attending. Then turn away your cheeks red. Procession regroups. To return to the castle. All of a sudden, there is a faint rumble noise from under your feet. The newly planted tree in front of you quivers, and then, out of nowhere, a spurt, a spurt of water comes out of the ground, battering you and the assembled crown with droplets. Just as quickly as it began, it vanished. Priestesses try to calm the crowd. They talk of almond and natural eruptions, but they can't halt the whispers. That's magic. The water tastes of salt. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what should we go with? Only afraid? Is that good? Yeah, we'll try that. Wander through the castle, through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit. Find little except spider webs. Yeah. Yeah, now I I'm a little more smug looking.
Hmm. Oh shit, my public speaking isn't at max. I thought it was. Hmm. People raise public speaking and reflexes, I guess. A teacher asks you questions about made up nonsense, pushing you to interpret why answer smoothly and swiftly without having to worry about them being correct. 50. You read collections of famous historical speeches and practice saying them in convincingly dramatic fashion. Cool, now at level 50 for, for that. You practice solo tennis, hitting the ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hands and your eyes to react. You practice running at high speed back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in direction. You, you can now play sports on weekends. Oh, okay. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you. See the queen. Oh. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities and gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Oh, jeez, I feel everything. See yourself. Your reflection in so many eyes make you want to run away and cry. After a moment, you force yourself to carry on, but you're sh you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently across the floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father. The looks in his eyes are so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. Duke of Tigel alone has brought three elig eligible si sons, all near your age. And I'm already bestowed to the Duke of Sigma. That does not bar you from dancing. Uh. I guess I'll dance with suitors. You look around the room at all the possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may be begin dancing until you do. You can pick whoever you want, and you will not be denied. Someone about your age. You approach. Lindley, the second son of the Duke, Tigal. He's about two years older than you, and he was always nice to you at school. He bows to you with great pontus. Pontus. Portus. Portus. Man. Courtesy. And you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels good. Quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him. You are steps, like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. You have been tutored in dance, of course, as has your partner, and it is simply enough to move through the motions without mishap. Between the dances, there is time for a, the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. Wow, I am feeling everything. You're in a lull in the music, playing the Duke of uh, Moraine tap and elegant fingernail against the wine glass, letting a clear note ring out through the room. If I may have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to the lovely hostess. The bravery and courage kept keep our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As a gala, as the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwynnell, there's Gwynnell for instance, the young lady of Sibiri, only months older than you, 
and due to violently in inherit control of the duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lilla, and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you at school in the absolute terror of the ball, ball fields. No. Brony. She had said her parents were leaving to her stock at school this season. Parents are here dancing together. The Duke consult, consort, clutching his doctor's positive tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousin, though. Shouldn't they be here? The Rotten Uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come. Murma, Murma being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with family and friends, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'm able to play some sports. So let's try doing that, you know. Get a little more. Nah, you know, what? maybe I, I shouldn't get angry. Uh, let's let's work on yielding a little bit. Yielding, lonely, and cheerful. Um, why am I, am I like about to cry or something? What the fuck is wrong with me? Huh. There's so much I need to like work with. What, what should I work on next? I guess I should probably work on like royal demeanor. Uh, yeah, let's program Royal Demir. Yeah, we should just like work on this a little bit. Your pass is walking along along a narrow rail, taking each step carefully and focusing on your balance. You practice deep breathing exercises, learning to find and, ma and maintain a sense of inner calm. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You move with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to employ him and his companion. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a uh, member of your circle. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to have even been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband and no father's arm to her grasp. How dare she make a move on your on your father? Uh, wow, we're being complete, complete dick. Wow. Uh, I don't want to do any of these. People shame her, they don't actually... They imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. She notices your stare, only smiles at you with ever so sweetly. Darling Elodie, I hope you're having well. Dot dot dot, fine. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave in accents. Only she's gone. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow to your father. This is the path for you I that you have set on set on. 
What do you mean? Your accent made everyone think about preparation for the future. Calorus needs an heir. My brother, your uncle Arnett, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama... Nothing can ever replace your mother. But we all have to do things that we don't want to. That, that, that. You should be careful in how you deal with people like Serene. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. Many dark looks were aimed your way at the gala. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Isn't that what I have agents for? Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Think of assassins. I can deal with any problem that comes as long as I'm here to deal with them. It's assassins I'm worried about. You are you you are your own best defense against assassins. Increasing your skills will help you help protect you. Beyond that, you can train more soldiers to personal bodyguards to watch over you. Or you can institute harsh penalties for treason and make people too frightened to cross you. More training, I think. See, if I just have guards constantly follow me, it'll be harder for me to sneak out. And and if I have more punishment, that's just going to piss people off. A little more training. There are so many things I need to learn. In so little time. Be calm and determined. And you will, will succeed. I believe in you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. That was a nice little conversation. We got a little a few things. Uh, let's play with the toys a little bit. Oh, I'm like pissed now. Jeez, why am I so angry all the time? I need to like just take a fucking chill pill. Uh. Let's practice with weapons and composure, I guess. Uh, like, there's so much I want to learn. Like, okay, I can now learn history stuff. Okay, let's go with history, foreign affairs, and world history. Done. The study of the relations of Nova and the nearest neighbor. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problem with Lexia to the south. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyrus as well. You look at the globe of the world, reading names and places so distant you can't remember even hearing about them. The other areas left blank because no explorer venture venturing there has ever returned. It is time, it's the time of year you decide any necessary adjustment to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is, al is already spoken for, but there is always some room for depression. I really don't understand all these numbers. Uh, keep them the same. Then they're fine as they are. As you wish. Hmm. Uh, let's go do some dancing. Nah, let's just go aside. Hey, I'm all happy now. There we go, I'm not all fucking pissed. I like better. Uh, skills. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's so much I need to learn. Let's go with, I guess... Uh, economics and presence. 
uh, economic, and production. No, accounting, I guess. And... I go with presents. I think elegance, I guess. You study the manipulation of larger quantities to different calculations using written numbers instead of ab abacus. I, I don't even know what that is. You practice standing and walking with books balanced in your head. You are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of a murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he may be set free. If you admit to you, you, you want to tell your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Say so be your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons may be dead. <laughs> Everyone knows the power of magical beasts. They used me. They twisted my fingers to chains. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me, and then the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and clean me again. Demons that uh, make you attack evil, is that even possible? Huh. Now, if there was any, any other world, I'd be like, no way. Hmm. I don't think I should execute him, but I think imprisonment would be bad. Whether there were demons or not, you still killed a woman, your wife. I won't for forgive you for that. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. He opened his mouth to argue with you further, but then he shoulders slumped. Yes, your majesty. Pay respect to your mother's tomb. Wonder if the same fate is waiting you. Okay. Hey, this would be the last week for this episode. So let's plan this out well. There's so much stuff going on. Like I'm trying to learn everything I can, and, and like, every time I start learning something new, something else takes like outsmarts me. I keep having to use sense magic. I keep seeing that pop up, so I should probably go with sense magic. And hmm, I guess. Interview? Hmm. Or military. Yeah, maybe I'll go with military and Newman. Hmm. Well, maybe, yeah, I'll, I'll go with swords. And for military, I'll go with naval strategy. So, so something a little different. The land that the sea is not something to hold. It is something to travel across. Naval strategy ensure your free travel while denying it to your enemy. You drill with a partner, attacking and blocking in, in carefully timed patterns. You see word that the murderer you condemned to prison has escaped. A large ex explosion rocked the jail he was in, destroying the walls and setting many dangerous criminals free. It will now fall to the royal treasury to repair the damage. Uh oh. That's not good. To check out the treasury, see how much money we have. Try to talk your way past the treasury guard, but despite eyelash and fluttering, Put stopping and outright threats, they won't let budge. Huh. I, I didn't want to see how much money we had. I mean, we're not told if we have money or not. Uh. So this is bad. 
there's criminals out there and they probably want me dead. So, so I, should, I should probably focus a lot on sensing any dark magics and I guess like I don't know reflexes I guess so let's see we'll go with Flexibility and what's the other one? Faith and Lumen. Oh, I can't do Lumen until I uh get that gem. Hmm. So I guess I'll go with flexibility and sword again. No, you know what? I should probably work with climbing and running and that sort of stuff. Oh man, I just so much I should actually work with. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, flexibility for sure. Maybe I, I should 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 just go like double flexibility. Yeah, let's do that. Double flexibility. You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. You practice balancing motion with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. You have unlocked a new outfit. You, you kneel with your hands pressed on the floor and stress like a cat reeling your back up and down. I regret to inform you that Hubby and the Arrow of Titan and Duke Brigand of Elf has passed away. Isn't really a surprise, he was pretty old. The problem is the pot pollet show implementations. With the control of L S in doubt, it falls on the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair did not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He's required a regent. His stepmother, Marise, the Duchess of Lilla, has petition that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control for two neighboring duchesses, which is generally for forbidden. Almost an entire eastern border. I don't know anything really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Arrow of Ishtar. Or you might, app might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. Hmm. If I send him to Aris. That means she controls a lot of land. And that can be dangerous. Send him to his grandfather. Yeah, I think that would be bad. Arrow of Ishtar is the closest blood relation that Adar has. He should be re regent. As you wish. And there's a lot of hard words in this to say. Uh, let's go for a walk, I guess. Okay, this is gonna be the last night. The last week. Okay, my physique is pretty good. 
What else should we work on now? Probably conversation? Economics, maybe? A military? Actually, we'll go with, like, history, I guess? History, like, uh, And we'll go with history for our own land history. You practice shifting subsistence ciphers with where each letter is replaced by only a few sets further along the alphabet so that cake and pie becomes bidden the Okay. You practice random. Oh, yeah, I don't like that reading. I'm getting really serious. Ooh, I'm unlocking the alpha. To read about the history of your domain, hundreds of years old, Nova was the center of the great empire, spanning the length of the western coast as well as the far island territory. Over time, you influence, your influence has waned. waned. There is a woman here to see you. She's a musician and wishes found patronage. Which means money. The Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will moralize you in word and song. I have dabbled in music styles for many countries and can entertain your guests and let you read them. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty and demonstrates her skills with the loop. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's try a second error. Very well. You can remain as part of the court. I will do my best for you. Some dancing. Yeah, I'm happy now. It, I, I got a new outfit. A cat suit? What? Okay. And a tutu. Okay. Huh. Guess we'll wear, we'll wear the cat suit, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we, we really need to work on Royal... Demeanor. So. Oh. Yeah, we'll, actually, we'll go with the two to you, because it adds more like flexibility and everything to us. Just in case we are assaulted. The classes. Royal Demeanor, Presence. Royal Demeanor, Composure. You practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in the mirror. Young as you are, you are queen of of the blood. You are your mother's daughter. You are forced to be, you are forced to be reckoned with. You practice positive thinking, maintaining a good self image, and conditioning yourself to carry on rather than being frustrated by any past mishaps. You receive a letter from young Lord Adar. Oh, excuse me. It's a it is it's an extremely formal letter for such a little boy. Thank you for your wisdom in allowing him to live with his grandfather, who probably dictated every word he wrote.
Hmm, now, now did we have to make the right choice by doing that? I don't know. Making it as a habit, really making you, like, think, like, like I, I'm loving it. Uh... Afraid and depressed? Nah. Let's go with afraid if I can find one. Actually, treasure. What do we need to learn? Counting. Presents. Okay. Oh, I'm so pissed. Oh man, like, I want to keep going. There's so much I want to do. I can't do royal, royal demeanor, so I guess... Counting? And I need to learn elegance or something, so the presence. So I guess we'll go with accounting and we'll finish leveling up swords. You study money lending and uh controversies. Involving involved in char charging interest. Cool. You practice moving with a blade, side stepping, charging, and lunging. You practice. Nice. Staring up into the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. Oh, it's that pretty. And finally, we'll go. Nah, maybe, maybe I won't put this for it. Maybe we'll yield it, I guess. Alright, well, I, I think that's it for this episode. I don't know how long this has gone for. It's gone for at least 40 minutes. Probably almost an hour. Yeah, it's like 1 o'clock and I started at like 12, 10. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, it's been, it's been at least 40 minutes. So... Hopefully you guys had a good time with it. I'm actually really enjoying this game. Uh, menu, here, let's see. All right. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. It's really exciting. There's a lot going on. Like every decision I make, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously just like, did I make the right choice? Should I really done this? So if if you're actually interested in this game, go to Steam and honestly pick it up. I have no regrets buying this. I mean, I bought it on sale for like three ninety nine. So like that was a really good price for like what I paid. Like I'm thoroughly enjoying this. But even at full price, which I think it's like uh hmm, I think it's like ten bucks or something like that full price. Not completely positive. But yeah, like it's a really good game. I I'm really enjoying it. So thank you for watching, and uh, see you guys next episode. If you have oh, if you have any tips or or any hints you want to give me, uh, on on this game, that helps too. But just don't give me any spoilers, okay? Like don't be like, don't 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 ruin the game for me. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and see you guys next episode. Bye for now.